Hey there, sign of Sagittarius. My name's Kim, and I'm going to do your reading for April 2021. It's going to be a general reading. Let's see. We're going to start with the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. I'm not going to read reversals for it, but I will do reversals for clarifying. So thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I appreciate all of you very, very much. If you would like a private reading, I'm doing those for donations. So you can check out the description box below to find out how to get them. And let's begin. Let's begin. All right, Sagittarius, calling in your angel, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to get messages. They're for their greater good for the sign or the sign or the sign of Sagittarius for the month of April. There we go. Some big cards, nice cards though. All right, what is the issue going to be for Sagittarius for the month of April? What's the issue, Tarot? Temperance. All right, so this card um, is about having a good balance. And either the balance is a relationship right here, as we see, like, the older woman's trying to ha help these younger people um, try to get balanced. It's like balancing hot and cold between two things, it seems like. So it's almost like whatever you thought was impossible with angel's guidance, um, the divine, something will play out in divine timing. So just know you're divinely directed, divinely protected, and this will be in um, divine timing. What is the challenge? Three of cups. I would say this is about friends getting along or people getting along around you. Maybe coworkers, maybe friends and family. What is the issue? Same thing as Aries had. Ten of wands, overwork, feeling overburdened, maybe taking on too much right now. Past position, we have Eight of Swords all up in your head, all up in your head, but there's also a different theme with this card in this deck, meaning there's so many responsibilities around you that you really can't leave. So it's feeling stuck, but there really is a reason for that here. It's not like you can't leave, but in a sense, you really can't because of these responsibilities. Um, present situation is the world. This might be dealing with, well, we have you, Sagittarius, and then the world is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. The world is about starting a new chapter. It looks like a family up here. It, it does. It looks like people, they're all related to each other. Maybe it's a brand new chapter or something new that's happening within your family or uh, community. The near future is the Ace of Swords. That might be clarity on a situation. It may be truth or clarity on a, a health situation. It doesn't have to be, though. It's like a lightning bolt that comes in and makes everything that you were seeking to know come to light. Crystal clear for you. How are you feeling? Like the Ten of Coins. So you're feeling that if you get this new start or with this new start, this is what's going to come in. And then you're feeling it. So if you're feeling it, this is for the month of April. It's, it's you know, basically there if you can feel it and think of it. So Ten of Pentacles. Nice. What is the external energy? Nice, too. This is like my card for success. The Six of Coins is being able to help other people. Um, being able to be part of that cause and effect, that giving and receiving chain. So you either help somebody or somebody helps you, and it all goes around a nice balance, a nice spin. Hopes and fears, we have the fool. So maybe you're hoping for a new beginning, and maybe in another way you're kind of scared to take that leap of faith. And that makes sense, too. Uh, your outcome, nice. Two aces. Near future, you're going to have ace of swords, and you're going to have Ace of Pentacles, meaning there's going to be complete clarity on a situation here to do with your Pentacles. Getting some truth coming in, and it's definitely regarding like career or Pentacles. Wow, I'm not even going to clarify these because these are perfect the way that they are. Let's do some spell casting cards. We'll get you some oracles to finish it up. But geez, this is a good reading. Really good manifesting so it's about some kind of manifestation that you're doing using your light using your light and we have prosperity on the bottom nice 
empowerment. It's safe for you to be powerful in this position, whatever this position is now. Manifesting is something that you are manifesting. Something that you're manifesting. Just hold on because it's divine timing. You will be traveling. This might be the world situation up here. It might be about world travel as that is. Or it could be the chariot. And then finding some inner peace in what, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. And I think that comes along with definitely the Ace of um, Swords comes in with that. So let's look at some tea leaves for you, Sagittarius. Let's see what we get. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. Bow, you were highly thought of. Apple, temptation will test you, always does whenever Ten of Pentacles comes around. Woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. Moon, there will be changes in your life. Tiger, doing something risky and taking a chance. Yeah, with that full card. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do one more for prosperity and abundance. Mountain, a major challenge to overcome, which you will, which you will. All right, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed this. I see good things for you next month. So sending you light and love your way. Bye.